Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video and if you're wondering about this face you can watch why I look like this up here. So today I'm back with a tag video and I was tagged by my friend Anya Stamper, also known as Pink Sweets. She tagged me in this tag that is created by Debbie and this is called beautiful Christmas tag so I will of course leave Debbie up here and down in the description all the questions and her video and her channel and also Anya's video so this is some questions about beautiful Christmas did I say beautiful Christmas tag I think I did so I think we just hop into this video so if you were to pick one Christmas gift beauty related to receive for Christmas what would it be and it is one thing that I wish for for Christmas and that is a brush set. Uh, it's a brush set from a Swedish brand and it's called Hiccup. I really want the brush set but I haven't bought any brushes this year. But I have told my boyfriend that I wish for that for Christmas. We will see, I guess I not will have it for Christmas but I wish for it. And if I don't get it for Christmas I think I will buy it next year because I have had a no buy on brushes this year. Okay, next question. If you create a Christmas eye look, what would you use red or green? And I would of course use red. Even though I start to like green pretty much, red is still a really big favorite of mine and I would pick red. I would pick red even if I wasn't doing a Christmas look, but if I had to choose between red or green, I would definitely take red. Uh, what new Christmas rollout beauty item excite you the most and why? And I was like scrolling a little on Instagram before I started but I really don't know because like I don't know Too Faced do a lot of Christmas things but I'm not that thrilled about Too Faced packaging if I'm going to be honest or their products in general and it doesn't feel like most of the brands I like do Christmassy things, um, so none. One thing that I have been really intrigued by and also have bought, I don't know if it is a Christmas thing or not, but a collection I really liked was Noble's Dreamy. Yes, I bought a Dreamy too. Um, about like all their new Mystic collection. That I am excited about. I think next year I will buy some things from this Mystic collection because it looks so beautiful. So yeah, I don't know if it is a Christmas collection. I don't know, but if it is, I choose that one. Thinking about Christmas past, is there a favorite beauty item that you ever received? What was that item? Do you still have it? And I haven't got so many makeup things for Christmas and yes I'm going to try to take the palette I picked out but I have a palette here that I got from my boyfriend Christmas I don't know which year it was I was so happy when I got this I told him that I wanted it and he bought it for me and I was so excited and I can't declare this palette just because when I look at it, it makes me think about that Christmas. And I was so happy to receive it. And that is the Urban K and Gwen Stefani palette. I was like over the moon. Um, it looks like this. This is not well used. Uh, I don't use it much now. But I can't declutter it because it has a special place in my heart. And I think it is a good palette. It's just nothing that... I want to use now, but maybe I should use this more. Some of the colors I've used, not a lot, but they look used at least. So yeah, this one, and yes, I still have it, and I think I will always have it because I like can't declutter it. So next question, if you had to pick one brand to receive for Christmas, what one would it be? And I, first I was like, okay, I'm going to take a brand that I really want to try. But, I don't know. I think I will say Nabla on this one as well. Because I really want, I have almost all their eyeshadow palettes. I am missing one. 
and yes I'm going to buy that because I want them all but I would love to receive like base products from Nabla, more highlighters from Nabla, more lipsticks from Nabla so yeah I would say Nabla on that one maybe that is a little bit boring but also I want to try their pressed powder I want to try their bullet lipstick I haven't done it yet going to do it next year and I also want to try their brushes so yeah I would love to get things from Nabla not eyeshadows but all the other things from Nabla I would love to receive that for Christmas do you change your skincare routine for the winter and the tips or tricks and I have a dry skin and I don't mix it up that much. I usually maybe use a oil at night just to give my skin super much moisture. Other than that, I don't change anything about my skincare routine. I don't think at least. I scrub my lips a little bit more because dry. And yeah, I use more oils. But that is the only thing I change. And I use shit tons of hand cream because when it gets cold in Sweden my hands are like desert and they crack so yeah <laughs> oils on my face and a lot of hand creams on my hands yeah, where should I put hand cream if I don't put it on my hands okay Christmas gatherings are you no makeup everyday makeup or full glam and no makeup I usually, me and my boyfriend would celebrate one year with my parents, then the next year with his parents, and then the year after with my parents, and I do maybe my eyebrows. But you know, we are going to spend time with some, some with someone like the whole day, and maybe go there early in the morning, and you're going to put on makeup. But so, no, no makeup, no nice clothes, maybe Christmas sweater or something, but I do not do full glam at Christmas. Hey, I had lipstick here the whole time. Have you seen it? Maybe not. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, your favorite petal from your collection that gets you in a Christmas mood and why? And I don't know if I have any that m makes me go into Christmas mood, but one palette that I have done one of my absolute favorite Christmas looks with is the Metallic Mysteries 2 from Linda Holberg. And I have used these two, the green and the red. I love that look so much. I did it last year, so maybe this palette... How, how, how hard can this be? So maybe this palette, these two colors, may sing. So I guess I have to say this one. Other than that, I don't think I have. Just because I don't use makeup that much on Christmas, so maybe that's why. But yeah, the Metallic Mysteries 2 from Linda Hallberg and that red and green. Perfect. Then a the question that I first was like, this is going to be hard. But then when I looked at this and picked out, I am like, this is so easy. So that is your favorite, no, yeah, your favorite Christmas red lipstick for the holidays. And it's NYX Liquid Suede in Kitten Heels. This is a really, I don't know where to put my phone. This is a really like bright red and I love the NYX Liquid Suede. It looks like this. This is like, I really, really like this red. It is such a good red. It's not too dark it's not too bright it's not too orange it's not too blue if you compare it with this one this looks super orange but this hidden heels really really love it and the nyx liquid suede they are so comfortable to wear and they don't feel dry or anything so this is my favorite red lipstick for christmas and the last question if you're planning on shopping for beauty items for Christmas, where is your go-to place to shop? Um, for example, Sephora in the brand Ulta, and I live in Sweden, we don't have Ulta, so I maybe can say Sephora in the brands or Kix, and 
Kix is a big beauty store in Sweden. And I would go to either Kix or Inkbrands. It depends if the Indie Brands has good deals. But also Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay have some amazing sales. They have an, uh, had an amazing Black Friday sale. And if they have such an amazing Christmas sale as well. And if it goes over to the new year and my Loba is over. Then I'm maybe going to splurge at Beauty Bay. So I think Beauty Bay. Or in the brand's own website. It depends if they have any good Christmas sales. But yeah, I would say Beauty Bay. And I can also add that I hate Brexit. I hope they fix. So I don't have to pay customs for shopping from Beauty Bay. So yeah, that was all for this question. And thank you Anya for tagging me. And thanks Debbie for doing a really fun tag. I love doing tags as you know. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!